know it's been a while, now I'm mixing up the drink I just need a girl who gon' really understand I just need a girl who gon' really understand I'm What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy Ramon, Lifestyles Defined Welcome back to another episode of the story behind the image And what we're doing here is we are exploring images and really sharing the story behind it and why it's such a dope image why we like it so much why it's my favorite or why it stands out this stands out to me and i'm talking i'm going through my catalog and eventually the idea is to get other photographers on and we can meet and discuss so here we go uh this image was actually uh my second professional gig a friend of mine a very close friend uh he'd been planning his engagement for for months and he he reached out and he wanted to know um if i could if i could do the engagement pictures and you know that was that is a that's a, a a huge honor uh to myself that you know he thought i was good enough to to actually handle the task um you know how it is most people most people when they're your friend they don't take what you do seriously <coughs> excuse me and it's like you know well, because i know you it, it, it's it's sort of they berate what you do uh, this was not the case with this good sir uh he had full faith in me in fact he had faith in me when i didn't have faith in myself uh, at this point i had already done uh i had already done a, a professional client it was a yoga shoot and I did that with the uh, I did that with the on camera flash, the Sony on camera flash. And after critiquing that set of images, there were some things I thought I would have done differently. Uh, for instance, they were there were parts of of the images where the light wasn't the way I wanted it to be. And this is when I came to the off camera flash solution. Now I had already had a streak like 360. And uh, I just never really, I never really uh, thought to bring it out during the yoga shoot. But here, uh, because we were planning for this weeks in advance, uh, the idea was golden hour in, in Dumbo. And this is down under the Brooklyn Manhattan, Brooklyn Manhattan Bridge, for those of you who are not familiar. And um, we could have done this in the afternoon, but the problem was there's so many people around. You can't, you can't get a clean shot. Uh, this was, this led to only one thing. We had to do it at four, like four or five in the morning. And that's what we did. So there was a lot of planning on my, on my end to, to, to really figure out where the sun would come up, when it would come up and be ready. So, uh, I, we got there. I gave myself some time. Uh, I gave myself some time to set up the streak light. Uh, I actually had my girlfriend with me who was my assistant for the day. So it gave us time to get her familiar with understanding things like when I say, okay, give me one stop of light, two stops of light, when she know what that meant, move in, forward, back, left, right. Uh, and, and it was good to even connect with her to show her, you know, uh, to, to sort of hone her into what an assistant would be doing. Because... You know, I shouldn't always be telling you where to go. You should see where the light falls and you should instinctively position yourself. So that was cool to have that interaction with her as well. But here, this was, uh, I started out shooting with my Sony, uh, my Sony A-mount zoom lens, which is a, it's a 28 to 75 uh, constant 2.8 so it was a good it was a good light for the situation because uh, it wasn't quite golden hour the sun didn't quite come up yet but it was light and i was using the flash to to bring them out and there's some dope images i got but when i saw that sun peeking i went specifically for one lens and that was my 70 to 210 uh minolta and they call that the bear can. It, it's a macro. It's a macro lens. <coughs> I don't know if it's a true one-to-one -one macro lens, but it's a macro lens, and it's a constant four, f four. So, what I did here was, you know, I've done tons of research on why longer lenses are are better for for uh, portraits and yada yada yada. And and to me, you know, I had shot this particular scene where they were standing. A few times and then i switched off to the to the the 70 to 210 when i saw the sun peeking 
and that was it. I noticed the difference right off the back. The it, it made it made their faces very very flattering. The compression was <laughs> look at it. The compression was beautiful to look at, uh, and and I was I was sold. So we waited about another two or three minutes, and then this shot happened. It was it was just perfect. Uh, I mean. I, I could not I could not have asked for a, a better shot the the way everything's in focus both him and her uh, I shot it at f4 which is wide open for that um, I think I was shooting it I shot it I shot a few at f8 I didn't like it gave me too much in focus f5 6 was good but um I think there was there was an issue with the camera I, I, I'm sorry there was an issue with the lens there was an issue with the flash. And I didn't want to give it any more light, so I decided to I decided to drop to drop it to a f4, which still which still came out nice. So you see that the focal length here is is 200 millimeters, right? So I I got that I've got that thing racked out. Uh, the aperture is four. Uh, it it's it was just one sixtieth of a second. Uh, I I was just so proud of this image. Just detail everywhere. Uh, the the one thing I would say after the fact, and in fact. Editing this image really uh, took me some time. Uh, I had to sign into Linda and pull up a few tutorials on how to how to uh, retouch images because that's not my strong suit. Um, but I wanted to learn, and here I, I did a lot of work uh, killing the the glare of the flash, and, and here as well was some glare. Uh, I took she had some of the makeup on on her on his jacket. I took off. Uh, cleaned up the eyes, cleaned up the teeth, made it pop a little, did some sharpening in the ring area. So this to me, again, uh, on top of the fact that I was able to conceptualize when and where I wanted to take this shot and, and, and it worked. Then I conceptualized the type of shot I wanted and the lens combination and it worked. And then I got home and I did my own retouching. I was like, wow. And it came out beautiful. There was so much about this image that I love. And, and I know, uh, yeah, I sent them about, I want to say 20 or 30 finished images. Uh, I don't think this is his favorite, but for me, this is my favorite. Uh, this is a strong image to me. This is something I would put in my portfolio. And uh, I keep a close tab on this image. Like as I learn more in Photoshop, uh, I'm gonna always wanna come back to this raw image and see how I can make it better. But uh, yeah, this this was a, this was a super triumphant image to me. Uh, the golden hour theme just, just worked. You, you got the sun really giving that backlight back there look at look at the look at the hair i was able to clean up a lot of her fly hairs as well that was a big deal very meticulous process uh but the golden hour the backlight plus the brick right here really nice together we've got that contrast with the gray man i really really love this shot man but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below like the video if you like it don't forget to subscribe we have plenty more videos coming and check out the the links in the description uh, below there are links to our other youtube channels where we do uh technology we do gaming uh we do sneakers and we even do watches and, and sunglasses and stuff like that so check us out my name is ramon i'm out of here peace From the deep forest into the summer.